Hi, this is Greg Wagner from Snoozle Learning. Uh, for today, we're going to go over how to create a C++ project in Eclipse. So for this class, the learning objectives are basically go over the basics of Eclipse, so ins and out of, of using Eclipse, and then how to create a C++ project in Eclipse. So going over in Eclipse, specifically how to make a C++ make project, and then just make a simple hello world, run it, and show you show you the outputs. So this is the basic Eclipse view and this is actually the C++ view. I actually installed C++ earlier. So what you can do to install C++ is if you go to the top and select Window, or I'm sorry, Help, and then do Install New Software. You'll see the software page and then if you click All Available Sites Click all available sites in this work with area. You should get some. It takes a few minutes for them to come up. And then in this area, you'll see all the available data. So what I already did was I already, I already selected the C++ um, plugins that I thought I needed. And so under if you look under this list, you got a whole bunch of lists of stuff. Under programming languages should see a whole bunch of C++ ones. I've already installed the C++ ones, but the ones I picked... I already installed some of the um, tools I needed, so I installed the Angerino C++ tools, um, and then some of the development tools. So you see CTL, those are the um, C development tools. So I have those installed, and then I'm in the C view basically. So the first thing I want to do is generate a C project. So I'm going to click this little icon up in the top left corner for new and pick a C C++ project. And so there's basically a bunch of different projects. I'm going to do a manage C++ build so this will make me a, a make file for C++ and then also manage the code in the um, view over here. I'll call this Snoozle's CPP test. And so you can see what kind of empty project you want. I'm going to do say empty project and then Linux GCC. Um, this should make also C. And then I can do a both the debug and release, which I'll do. So in this space, I have my C++ file, and you can see I have my include folder, it's the basic includes, and what I want to make now is a new file, our new source file. My source file is going to be called driver cpp, I call this driver.cpp. So notice how Eclipse tells you, okay, this is not what we want. So make sure to put a .c or cpp at the end. Since this is a C++ file, let's go with the cpp. So driver.cpp, it's kind of just a generic file. I'll expand on this. This shows all my different C code. And so to make a basic hello world for C++, I'm going to make include io stream. I include IO stream, and then I'm going to be using namespace std. You see the error there. And so I'll make my basic hello world. I believe this built. And then if I run it, oh, 
show the console. And then when I run it, it. So I didn't run because I basically didn't have a build solution. So what I need to do is go into the long config configuration, do a build solution, and I can't quite see it, but down here there's a next button. So I'm going to pick it C application, and then finish, and then run it, and you'll say the hello world. What we can also do is launch a, launch a terminal, I'll find the terminal button, and then run it, but this is like this likes my terminal button, so I'll just wrap it up right here. So again, this is Greg Wagner with Snoozle Learning. Um, if you'd like to see more of these videos, please subscribe to my channel. And if you want to follow me on Twitter, um, my handle is GM Wagner, or you can click the link down below.